All right, this is a how-to on changing the uh, crank seal on the very other side of a uh, Honda NHX 110, uh, known as the Elite 110 in the U.S. and the uh, Lead 110 everywhere else, pretty much. So basically, um, this is the this is actually a new oil seal I just put in, but the uh, the old oil seal was actually leaking, and it was leaking right from um, right from where the where the crank uh spin the and the seal you know in this in this area here um basically what caused that leak uh, on this bike this uh, by the way this bike has uh 40 over 41,000 miles so basically what caused that leak is uh, uh for me overfilling the uh the engine oil and I I've, I've done that who jeez a lot of times I have probably done that probably about a dozen times overfilling the the oil the worst overfill level that I did was uh, probably about, uh, I would say, half an inch higher than the uh, the top of the uh, the uh, dipstick level on the, the, the on the uh, the high end of the dipstick level on the hash marks. So 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 yeah. So I've done uh, so I've definitely overfilled this thing a bunch of times, and uh, and when it, when you just barely overfill it, it's not so bad. But it's that that. That time that I did make it half an inch higher, it was uh, that was probably uh, caused the most leakage. You know, you know, because because when when you have too much oil, what happens is inside the crankcase, uh, in there it you know the pressure builds up too much, and the pressure has to go somewhere. And the crankcase ventilation is you know, you know it could only do so much in relieving the pressure because when when the RPMs build up, you know when it gets higher and higher, uh, more pressure builds up, and and the the crankcase ventilation can only do so much. So, so something has to give. So, luckily for me, this seal, this part right there, was what gave, and not and not not uh, some other spot where it was difficult, like uh, uh like uh, you know, the the gasket between the cases, something like that. That that would have been uh, that would have been a nightmare uh, as far as work goes. So basically, I I, I replaced the seal, and this way here's the old one, and uh, you see that, see the old one. Basically, what I did, and how I took this off, is obviously, you know, I took off the, the variator and all that stuff, all the drive parts. I got one of these little picks here, and basically, I pried into, you know, you know, I basically pried right into that little between the uh, the spindle and the the seal right there. So you can see, oops, you can see where 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 the spot where I pried in right here, how it's uh, how it's. Uh, How it's uh, 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 dug in from the pick here, from the hook. So basically, I, I hooked it in. Patrick, back! Dog just knocked over my light. So, so you see, you see where the, uh, the spot is right there. Um, you know, so I pry it in because this thing is so small. There's no basically there's no leverage on this thing. I was trying to pull it out and I could not get it out. I'm like, and I was thinking to myself, oh, but this is gonna be a tougher job than I thought. Uh, for, but fortunately for me, I have one of these things right here. This is basically uh, this big old thing here. This is basically used for a, uh, for removing hoses from like a, for example, a radiator hose, you know, over over time, like uh, on, a, on a radiator, for example, the, the hose, you know, with the heat and everything, it kind of gets stuck there, uh, even though you take off the, the hose clamp. The, the the hose itself gets stuck there and this thing you know basically picks in in between the the, the hose and the uh, whatever it's uh, mounted on to loosen up the hose to pull it out so basically I was able to get hooked this into that spot right there and with this since this is so big and I, and I got, have a lot of leverage on it I just yanked it out and it, it popped right off real you know, real quick uh, went a lot smoother and easier than I thought with this this tool so that made it good so you know when you take this off on the inside what you see is uh, behind here is what you see is the cam cam chain and, and and part of the cam chain guide and uh, and you know and the the crank bearing in there, so took that out, wiped off all the seal. And actually, before I even started this, I actually wiped off you know around the area here to make sure everything is clean, so you don't get any, any crap inside inside the engine uh, itself. Then once I was done, you know, carefully put the new one in here, uh, you know, making sure that the uh, Making sure that the uh, the 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 two in face you know, the inside where the spindle is in here and outside here is uh, is not it's not uh, doesn't get banged up. So I basically just push it in, 
and I actually I just used my thumb. And, you know, I was very surprised at how easily it popped in. So I just used my thumb all the way around, you know, slowly working it, working it. And basically, where the uh, the engine case here, you see the the aluminum and the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, seal itself. Uh, it's basically it should be just about flush with each other. So that shield, seal should be flush with the, uh, the aluminum case, and that's about it. That's that's you know that's, that's all you need to do, and I'm basically done. Uh, this this seal right here uh, was you know it, it was I think it was like less than ten bucks, uh, or somewhere around ten bucks or so. Uh, and you, you can see in the rest of my engine, or not the engine, excuse me, the the drive inside here. You see all you know, all this oil all over the place. That's because it was you know basically was leaking here and it was spraying everywhere. And uh, and I actually had this you know it started leaking quite a quite a few miles ago. Uh, probably I'm thinking it probably started leaking about 15,000 miles or so ago, maybe 20,000 miles ago, uh, when I you know when I first uh, you know when I uh, over overfilled it. Uh, no, but like I said, I, I've overfilled it about a dozen times. You know, just my, you know, just my my uh, my fault for being lazy and not not uh, not being careful with my fill up and also not not uh, take getting some of that oil out if I, when I was overfilled. But I was kind of putting this off, putting this off, and finally, basically, uh, it got bad enough where where it was just you know where it was just kind of seeping out, leaking out uh, enough where where the oil got all everywhere and it actually got onto my belt. And actually, the belt slipped on the drive a little bit, so that's why I was like, okay, that's you know, I just about had enough of it, and so I better take care of it before, before, uh, before I you know get stuck somewhere where where the belt keeps on slipping and it won't go anywhere. So, so come on, this new seals, put it in. Uh, I mean, can't get any easier than that, right? Quick, easy job. Uh, you know, with the right tool here, it made it really painless. Uh, had the I think the the most difficult thing about this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be cleaning all this oil off. You know, now I have to basically get some Simple Green and we'll spray all this you know with Simple Green, spray all this stuff off, and you know, is a Simple Green to decrease the cleaner. So I gotta clean all this stuff off and uh, and put everything, button everything back up. Otherwise, that's uh, that's what you do. You know, don't be lazy like me. Don't be a don't be a lazy. Uh, Retard like me and uh, and 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 uh, and overfill it and not not you know not not drain it out or, or you know you can use like a little straw or something like that and and slowly uh, uh, remove some of that extra oil out from 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 the engine. Um, so yeah, like I said, don't be lazy like me and, uh, and you know and you don't have to, you won't have this problem. Uh, uh, but like I said, you know this bike has you know over forty one thousand miles. Um, and I'm expecting, um, you know, I'm expecting quite a few more miles out of this this bike. So, so who knows uh, if I keep it long enough? Uh, maybe one day this bike will see a hundred thousand miles, and, and I, I'm I'm confident that it can. Uh, okay, that's it. Thank you.